Hello, so my name is Elaine Terso. I am a photographer and I wanted to share with you an incident that happened with my Square account. So I've been using Square for a very long time um, to process transactions. I have an online store, yada, yada, yada. Um, as Square continues to evolve, they add some amazing features to their services and for a lot of convenient, a lot of things that are pretty convenient, right? I got hacked and I wanted to share with you some things that you can look out for and ways to prevent it from happening. So um, the first thing that um, these, what they did, kind of how, I'm gonna just kind of give you the backstory about what happened and then I'll give you the tips on how to prevent it from happening to you. So I had, thankfully my email was open um, while this was happening. Um, so I was starting, I got an email from a client. Um, she had forwarded me um, an email from her credit card company um, declining her purchase of $1,500 from me. And I'm like, she's like, what is this about? And I was like, I don't know. That's really odd. And so I opened up my square and didn't see anything like immediately. Normally you get an email about a transaction and things like that. And I didn't, I didn't have anything. Then I got a call from another client saying, I just got charged $500, um, what did I buy? And I'm like, I don't know, because this person just called me, which they know each other, and said something, you know, something is going on. So then it prompted me to continue digging a little bit deeper, and I went into transactions, and that's where I discovered that there had been multiple transactions made, um, $1,500, $500, $500, and $200, um, from two of my clients. And so I was like, I don't, how did this happen? You know what I'm saying? Then I got another email from Square asking me to confirm a new linked bank account. So what they were trying to do was to get those deposits because now Square has this feature where you can basically get paid immediately from your customers which is a great feature, but can also, right, if you do not act quickly, it can be very bad, very, very, very bad. So I'm like, I, I don't know what to do. Um, calling Square is, that don't even get me started on that. Um, you have to find a customer number, which I still to this day cannot find my customer number. <laughs> so anyways. I went in and refund, 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 every single transaction that was there, changed my password um, immediately, and then um, I enact, enabled two-factor authentication, which is available in your account settings. So I highly encourage you to do that, which what will happen is that it will send you a text message every time you log in to your Square account that you have to put in a code so they know that it's you. So um, I also posted about it in the um, in their forum, their community sellers forum, and mentioned that I had gotten hacked and this is what I discovered. And they called me the next day just to kind of go over everything that had happened and make sure you know they kicked out everybody that had. If there was somebody in my account, everybody had been removed. I had already changed my password. And they told me that basically I did everything right, but it was because I acted so quickly. Um, and so that's the thing is that because of the technology that we have, it can also open us up to um, these sorts of things. So here's what they did. And this is what I encourage you to do. Having customer cards on file is basically um, allows vendors to charge customers basically without having to be in front of you. Which is great for when you have a payment plan or something like that. It makes it super easy to just to go in and charge the amount you need and you're good to go. In this case, it almost cost my clients thousands of dollars. So if you search, if you go into your customers tab, there's a filter. And if you click filter and click 
uh, search by cards on file. Then I had 20 customers with their cards on file. And that could have been either because we had a payment plan set up or when they, um, when I had uh, sent them an invoice, there's a checkbox that allows them to keep their card on file. I will no longer click that checkbox because it's super convenient, right? You don't have to worry about entering your email or your phone number to get a receipt anymore. It just automatically knows who you are. I will not be doing that. And I encourage you to not do that either. And I encourage you not to store the credit cards of your customers in your Square account any further. Um, like I said, it could have cost my customers thousands of dollars. And so thankfully, um, I acted quickly enough, but that is, that is the thing. So delete all of them, enable two-factor authentication, and if that happens to you for some, you know, God known reason, um, refund the transactions as soon as you see that something is suspicious. And then, um, you know, just get in touch with Square, use their sellers forum. If you're able to find your customer number, call them and let them know so that they can take action on their end to keep your account safe. So, that's my story. That's what happened. And those are my tips for you to make sure that something like this does not happen to you. Um, you know, and as a consumer, um, it can happen to me as a consumer. And you know what I mean? So I think we need to be more vigilant about, um, about our credit card information and where we, where it's being stored because, you know what I mean? It just, we open ourselves up and technology um, allows us to have these conveniences, but it also opens us up to being vulnerable and having our privacy invaded, our finances disrupted, and our lives, you know, it's a nightmare dealing with stuff like this. And as a business owner, it makes me look bad. You know what I mean? So, um, just know that there are things you can do to protect yourselves any to protect yourself further. So I hope that this was helpful information and I um, hope you guys have a great day and that you never have to deal with this. So see you. Bye.